creation of a high temperature plasma through merging and compression of supersonic field reversed configuration plasmoids. Number 4. Pulsed FRC fusion reactor prototype. One is now in a position to determine the basic parameters of a fusion reactor based on the pulse compression of the FRC. The initial design should aim to alleviate the concept with a device that is capable of attaining Z equal 1. The goal would be to demonstrate this with an experiment that would operate essentially in a single pulse mode R bigger than 1 Hz to reduce the cost and complexity of the pulse power systems but to do it in a manner that could evolve into a commercially commercial viable device. This is deemed possible due to the several unique attributes of the concept that eliminate or greatly mitigate the major cost devices inherent in the other approaches. For instance, with silical cyclical plasma generation, the need for sustainment, flowing and auxiliary heating systems, including current devices, are eliminated, which could potentially simplify reactor operation, having a transient burn. The vacuum boundary should be much easier to maintain thereby significantly reducing recycling tritium retention and wall interaction issues. A conceptual conceptual design is illustrated in figure nine. Figure nine conceptual depiction of a prototype fusion reactor based on the pulse compression of the FRC. In figure 9, the radial scale has been exaggerated and the length of the burn region inside the compression coil has been foreshortened for purposes of illustration the breeding blanket which would immediately surround the high field chamber is also not shown for clarity. The cross section of the burn region and blanket is illustrated in figure 10. There are several alternative possibilities for the configuration of 
compression coil and fusion blanket. The use of a very in a wall as part of a flux concentrator and neutron multiplier is one possibility as indicated in the figure. Other arrangements include the use of a conventional multi-term solenoid at the inner boundary, while the neutron fluence would not doubt limit the lifetime of such a coil. The liner sample connected nature of the confinement system could make periodic replacement an acceptable arrangement. A structural analysis of these various options has yet to be done and would need to be Perform to determine the best method for field creation in in the burn chamber. Figure ten, mid plane cross section of compression section with fissile fusil breathing blanket. In order to make sure that the assumption made in the prototype design are consistent with the scaling processes of the FRC formation and merging demonstrated with the IPA results, several rounds of the 2D MHD Mercury code were conducted using typical fields, voltages, and field inventories used in past FRC experiments for the FRC formation. The radial scale of the formation coils was set the same as the LSX FRC experiment. The coil fields and timings were adjusted to produce the same supersonic FRCs as achieved in the IPA experiment with merging occurring in a compression coil with the same radius R equal 0.1. The major difference being that the compression field for the calculations was increased, increased to 10 tesla. The results are displayed in figure 11 and 12. Figure 11 field line and pressure contours from 2D MHD calculation of the formation merging and compression of the FRC in the prototype. The unique ability of the FRC plasmoids to be similar Rutaneously translated and compressed over distances of several meters arrows for the FRC formation and kinetic energy input to be added incrementally outside of the burn chamber 
and breeding blanket. This is clear from the time history of the eon temperature shown. In figure 12, the eon temperature increases from a combination of pre-compression and kinetic conversion prior to the merging and final conversion in the compression chamber at 24 microsecond in the process the ions receive the bulk of the heating after the FRC merges and heats any residual axial motion is only weakly damping damped as the FRC velocity is subsonic. There was sufficient reconnection in this calculation that the FRCs do not become separated even through the residual velocity is not small. Figure 12, top, the time, history of the average electron and the ion temperature inside the FRC. Bottom, the time history of the FRC axial velocity and external magnetic fields at the mid-plane of the FRC. The compression of the FRC to high energy density can be performed inside a simple small cylindrical coil set that is constructed for pulsed. High magnetic compression fields. This kind of magnetor kinetic heating is efficient and avoids the numerous challenges confronting steady state approaches were large spots and sophisticated neutral beam devices are needed to create heat and possible sustain the plasma currents these ancillary devices must also be co-located with the fusion reactor blanket and power processing systems, making for a complex and inefficient reactor. Operation with tritium will necessitate recovery of unused fuel. A large diverter region is thus located at each end of the formation sections. See figure 9. The plasma Exhaust diverter lesions can be as large as desired and well removed from the reactor, eliminating critical power loading issues. As can be seen in figure 11, the entire high field reactor vacuum flux is external to FRC plasmoid flux and is thus essentially diverter flux. In a transient burn, the particle loss from the FRC will be over heliminely directed to the diverter regions as the actual flow time 
is many orders of magnitude smaller than the perpendicular particle diffusion time across the open flux region. The strong axial gradient magnetic field outside the burn chamber assures that the plasma lost from the FRC remains contained in the diverter regions, essentially eliminating tritium C coal coal post deposition and making the tasks of full tritium recovery and diverter maintenance. Much easier to carry out. Thank you.